Why do leaves change color in the fall? Well, by the end of this program, hopefully you will know all of the answers. In the spring and the summer, the leaves are able to make food which takes place in cells containing chlorophyll, which gives the leaf its green color. The chlorophyll takes in sunlight to make energy for making sugars and starches. But in the fall, because of the length of the daylight and the temperature changes, the leaves stop making food. This means that the chlorophyll will break down and the green color will fade away, showing the yellow to orange colors in the fall. results from pigments produced by the plant. The three main pigment classes are porphyrins, carotenoids, and flavonoids. In the porphyrins class, there is chlorophyll, which as we said earlier, produces a green color, and it is in chloroplasts. In the carotenoids class, there are the pigments carotene and lycopene, that can produce a yellow, orange, and red color. Also in this class is xanthophyll, which shows a yellow color. In the flavonoid class, there are the pigments flavon and flavonol that shows a yellow color. Also in this class are anthocyanines, which produce red, blue, and purple colors. And anthocyanines play a big part in intensity of color in the fall. Weather is one of the main influences of a leaf's color. During days that are warm and cool nights, sugars are produced inside of the leaf. But in the night, the cool temperatures cause the sugars to not move out of the leaf. This will cause anthocyanins to produce and show brilliant colors of reds and purples. Carotenoids are always in leaves, so yellow colors will remain every year. The soil's moisture also affects the color of the leaves. If there is a summer drought, it can cause a reduction in color when fall comes, and when there are summer rains, a tree's health increases and causes more intense colors. Some colors are characteristic of different kinds of trees. Oaks turn red to brown. Aspen trees appear yellow. A red maple tree will show deep red colors. Hickory trees will show a bright yellow. Sassafras will show red and orange colors. Trees like pines, spruces, and cedars have needles that are covered in a heavy wax coating that prevents freezing, and so the needles and leaves do not fall off. Anthocyanins are located in the vacuoles of cells. They help defend the tree or plant from insects and fungal attacks. 
Anthocyanins are also in many foods, like red cabbage, blueberries, and strawberries. The color the anthocyanins show is dependent on the pH in the plant. These pigments can also be used as a pH indicator. It's an organic compound, water soluble, and beneficial to human health. And it is also used for candy color and drinks. Hello, Miss Beverly. I hope that you enjoyed my presentation. And to end this presentation, about anthocyanins, I would like to read you a poem. Nothing gold can stay. Nature's first green is gold. Her hardest hue is to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay, by Robert Frost. Miss Beverly, take your hand and reach down into the biggest depths of your heart and, and pull out the greatest grade that you can give me because you are the best teacher in the whole wide world. Thank you for being the best.